Hey Faith family, it's Brother Mario. I pray you're having a wonderful day. I wanted to go ahead and create a video here to share with you more of my own personal recovery journey and show you just how much the Lord has been healing me in hopes to encourage some of you out there dealing with the same struggles. In today's video, I wanted to talk about how it is as a man that I struggled with my own body. I could never be big enough. If you haven't seen my previous video, I shared with you that I had a generational trauma or a generational curse. And what it is, is that I never felt good enough. And that translated into me never feeling big enough. It's called um, muscle dysmorphia, and it's a reverse form of anorexia. And many men, even my friends, struggle with this. You can never get jacked enough. So in this video here today, I wanted to share that with you and also specifically how it is that I would dress in a way to draw attention to myself. I was not dressing modestly. I would wear form-fitting clothes for the very purpose of drawing this attention to me because deep inside I needed this validation because I could not find it in my own personal relationship with Jesus Christ at the time. And so because this wound, this inability to feel good and accepted and worthy within Christ, uh, within my identity as the righteousness of Jesus Christ, I would be looking to external things to try and validate that. And I know that's a struggle for many men and women as well. We're unfortunately hurt many of us inside and I believe that this is a way that we can draw in attention and it's an artificial form of comfort and validation but we'll talk about that more in detail in this video so let's go ahead and get right into it now I got into recovery and the Lord has been doing amazing things he has healed me from drug and alcohol addiction uh, he's healed me from codependency um, hating myself if you haven't seen my video i'll leave it pinned up uh, i absolutely hated myself to the point of self-destruction okay check out the video i know maybe many of you can relate to that um but yeah it, it it translated into my own feelings about my body no matter how big i got i just couldn't get big enough so basically i started weight training specifically bodybuilding at a very young age 13 years old i started to lift weights and even back then you know, you go back to the childhood of a young boy and I was playing with little G.I. Joe toys. And what was the G.I. Joe reinforcing to me when I was playing? Because the G.I. Joe was on steroids, big time. Like these things were jacked. My uh, WWE characters were on the gear and, and the, the figures were made exaggeratedly big, right? And we see this in media in Hollywood. There's a reinforcement that, hey, if you're a man, you need to be macho man. Randy Savage, cup of coffee, yeah, you know, all crazy and uh, alpha male and all that stuff, right? And so this this is this gets imprinted on a young little boy's soul, I believe, right? It's it's an imprint from the world that tries to conform us to this idea of what a man truly is, and this isn't found in scripture. Yes, the scripture has Samson, who's the ultimate Hercules, um, but typically men in the Bible are not very strong and and their physical aspect and that really doesn't matter we're meant to be spiritually strong but you have all this influence from the world that tells us that we need to be big we need to be jacked women it tells them the opposite they need to be thin and they set a standard for us that's unrealistic and so as i grew up uh, i wanted to like any other teen fit in and especially in high school when you want to try and draw attention from girls as a boy and women you want to do it you'll you'll start to dress a certain way and for me it was hitting the weights and you know what it works sad to say the reality of it is i get and have gotten way more attention and it's not the good attention but i would draw eyes to myself because of my biceps or my chest and all this stuff now this attention as i stated is not a good attention i shouldn't be seeking the validation of other people to fulfill that within myself Okay, so uh, I grew up, I got into bodybuilding. Now, I didn't use uh, enhancements up until I was in my 30s. For a long time, I didn't. And I started off uh, with uh, Anavar. Anavar is typically called the woman's gear. And the reason that uh, it's that, it's a mild one. But that opened up the door for me. Once I had gotten the results on that, and I got some pretty crazy results on it. I got 20 pounds of muscle uh, in seven weeks. And I was like, whoa, this is intense. And so eventually I moved on to uh, test 
and uh, I was shooting about uh, 500 to 1000 milligrams a week for over a year at one point. And um, I got pretty significantly big. Um, there was a ton of side effects for me as well. Uh, I hate this ape, but my nipples were swelling and they were hurting. Uh, I had acne. I still have a little bit of scarring from the acne on my back because it was just full. Um, and yeah, so th there's so many consequences to using this stuff. And yes, you can use it responsibly. But as a Christian man, this isn't something that I desire to do anymore. And, and the Lord really dealt with me in that area. And I'll explain how he did it. Um, for those of you who don't know, I got removed from the first treatment center that I went to, the rehab. Uh, I got in with the boys and within a couple months we're working out and the talk of enhancements comes around. And you know what? Hey, let's do this, boys. I know it's not right, but hey, you know, I'm sober from other stuff, so we'll do this. This is okay. And uh, they, found the, <laughs> they found it in my room and I got the boot. And uh, so I found myself removed from program. I really enjoyed uh, the fellowship there and, and, and the guys, and it really was hurtful to get removed. But the Lord used that to really show me like, Mario, come on, you know, what are you doing, boy? My son, what's, what's going on with you, please? And I really recognized that, okay, wait a second here. The reason that I'm doing this is because I'm not finding this within myself. I, I'm using the size as a mask to cover up my own insecurity. That's what it was. I was using my physical enhanced body to block out people f with an arrogance and pride also about it um, that, hey, I'm not insecure. I'm the, I'm the man. Yeah. And that's just bravado, ridiculous nonsense. And uh, really all I was covering up is how broken I was internally. So um, what has it been now, 10 months? None, obviously I lost some weight. Some of you will mention that in the videos. Mario, you've lost a lot of weight. Yeah, I did, <laughs> that's a good thing. Um, and yeah, so the Lord healed me from that. And also what I would do, like I mentioned, I would wear really tight clothes to show off the gains right? I wanted to draw attention to myself. And men, we do it just as much as women. I see so many brothers uh, calling out sisters for dressing inappropriately, uh, not modestly, yet they have a super form-fitted shirt on themselves showing off their guns. Like, come on, bro. <laughs> don't be a hypocrite. Don't, uh, don't go after your sister when you got... Don't take the speck out of her eye when you got a log in yours, you know? Um, it's as important for us to dress modestly, and the Lord really convicted that in me. Uh, so when the Lord convicted me of this, I went and grabbed all the tight shirts and and gave them to uh, an organization that helps uh, hand out uh, clothes to um, the less fortunate. I went and uh, got a lot of uh, modest clothing, loose clothes, and uh, I feel better. I feel more handsome in a way. It's as ridiculous as that sounds, but. The clothes is, is more, um, I don't know, elegant, I could say, I don't know, either way. Uh, it's just, I'm not showing off the guns. And also, I mean, when I was wearing the tight stuff, it would like cu cut off the circulation. Uh, and it was not even comfortable, whether it was tight pants or tight shirts to show off my form, like it's just, it wasn't really comfortable. So the clothes that I have now, um, I think looks better and uh, I'm more comfortable in it. And it's a better representation of the man that I've become. Yeah. It's amazing what God is doing in my life because um, all that stuff, all that, it's not healthy and it's not good, okay? You know, trying to find validation by drawing attention to my physical body, um, trying to, never being good enough, being stuck in a cycle of never being satisfied, okay? And all these external things, using that as a way to cover up my brokenness, I'm just really thankful that God is healing me, you know? <laughs> and you know what? Here's the, here's the thing, brothers. You know, we do this because we want to be attractive and whatever. And there, you know what? I don't think there's anything wrong with desiring to make yourself attractive to a partner. But let's be honest. What really is the most attractive thing? And the Lord showed me. It's humility. It's not pride. Pride's gross. 
And I had a lot of it. A lot. The Lord has used my recovery process to humble me. And I'm thankful. I believe I'm more attractive and beautiful than I've ever been. And I may not have the muscle. It's a different type, you know. And ultimately, bros, you know, do you want a woman to be attracted to you and want you because you got big biceps, because you got the pecs, you know, because you're fine or whatever? Or do you want her to love you and be attracted to you because of your heart? You know, as much as we try and keep the gains, eventually we're going to get old and we're going to have saggy boobies and <laughs> it's not going to be too pretty. So spend an entire life bodybuilding, building the physical temple. Now, exercise is good. I don't discourage that. I encourage you to exercise. But spending so much time obsessively to create this body that, oh, that's, that's me. And then all this time went into that. Why not take that time and energy to developing Christ-likeness with ourselves, to be more concerned with the internal man than the external? And that's where I was. I was stuck on the things on the outside, focused on that. When ultimately they're meaningless, they're, they're, I was chasing the wrong things, you know, and uh, I'm very grateful, very grateful that God has put me on this path and blessed me by giving me this healing because it's been a long time that it's been messing me up. You know, brother in Christ, the right woman is going to want you for the right reasons. And it's going to be because you have a heart like David. It's going to be like, because you're humble like Paul. That's what I want to be desired for and that's what I'm now working on you know and uh, I feel better about myself I feel closer to who I should be in Christ my identity as a as someone who abides in Christ these reflect that you know so there you have it everyone I wanted to just share that with you I know there's some of you brothers out there that are struggling and even the sisters I mean this is an issue that uh, I, I think women also very obviously struggle with, right? Wearing provocative clothes to draw yourself attention from guys, to fulfill a void within yourself, trying to find that validation within them that ultimately won't satisfy you. That's a problem I think everyone is going through. Um, never feeling skinny enough, sisters, you know, never thin enough. You can never be like those magazine covers that are uh, airbrushed anyway by the way and photoshop so they're not even real uh, but yeah so I just pray today in this video that uh, some of you are encouraged by this and that the Lord will begin to heal you in this way you know the Bible says that we get to comfort others with the comfort that God gives us and this is one of the areas that the Lord has comforted me it was a prison to be stuck in that a prison a prideful fleshly prison and I've been set free Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> God's good. God's so good. So good. <laughs> I praise God for my brokenness because it drew me to him. So I'm going to continue sharing this journey of recovery with you. If you haven't subscribed to Recovery in Jesus, a YouTube channel I'm creating to share everything that I've learned along this journey with you, it's going to be a blessing. And uh, God's going to move. He's moved in me. Now it's time that he continues to move in me. And, and I'm never stopping. I'm on a path right now. And I'm continuing on it for the rest of my life. But I want to see him move in some of you guys. And I want to hear your testimony. I'm very excited to see what God's going to do in your lives. I believe that he's using this testimony as a way to reach many of you. And I'm just so blessed. So thank you for being part of my journey. For supporting me. Encouraging and praying for me and forgiving me some people <laughs> a lot of people here on this platform have not forgiven me uh, they call themselves christians but they show no grace no mercy no love and uh, i really appreciate those of you that, that continue to support me regardless i'm not perfect you're right you want to find stuff about me especially in my almost recent past i mean i've been only on a good straight and narrow for like a year um i really struggled in life you can do that but um Thank you for those of you who acted like Christ, forgiving and hoping best for me and praying for me. I appreciate it. Have a blessed and wonderful day. Stay vigilant, stay sober, and fear no evil.